So what's happening for most people is they're constantly caught up into the story of who they are. So there is a story in the head about how this person did something to you, or how that person did something to you, how this should have happened or not happened, or you want this or you don't want that. And then there's an emotional response that's happening in the body. And that's how most people live their whole life, is just focused on themselves. This, this character just focusing on itself and trying to get things and avoid things. But there's nothing to get and to avoid. That the person becomes obsessed that it will find a freedom in getting and avoiding. And that will give you increased pain or pleasure. If you have bad things happening to you, then it might be painful or good things. It might give you increased pleasure. But it's not lasting. It doesn't last, this pain or pleasure. So the person is always looking for something else that will just make it feel at home. But that home is the I am, that home is presence. But the person is always lost in a story of itself, which becomes an energy in the body, trying to get, 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 get. And you can't undo that energy because you don't really exist. There seems to be an undoing of it and there seems to be a practice that manifests for the person. But in the end, that's life, that's God. God has been orchestrating everything. You are a puppet, feeling like you have free will. So you move your arm and it feels like you move it, but it's actually happening. So say this complete surrender into this presence and allowing God to move every part of your body, which is love. That the closer you come back to who you are, which is this moment, the more you're in contact with your essence, which is love, that God is expressing as a form of love now. That my words are love, the computer is love, the hum of the computer, the sound of the radiators, the colours, the light. Everything is an act of love when it's known to be coming from this moment, coming from this I am, from the heart of being. But when you, when everything is coming from a story, then you, you're emotionally bound to that story, you're tied up in knots by that story. And the predominant factor to the story is I am separate from everything else, which isn't true. There's nobody that is separate from everybody else. There is nobody. But this person keeps telling its story in time. They have to do this, they have to do that. This is right, this is wrong.
Where does all of this come from now? It's total forgiveness as well to everyone and everything. Like they didn't do it, life did it. You didn't do it, life did it. There's nothing you've ever did, done. There's nothing you're ever gonna do. It feels like you make the choice, but the choices are happening. Why are you cutting off from what's actually happening? Why are you cutting off from feelings and thoughts and going into these stories? It's simple, simply training. The person believes it's not allowed to experience something, it's not allowed to feel something. It shouldn't be something. It's not allowed to get what it wants in this moment. It should be something else. There's such unconscious thoughts going on. And then the, the mind can't handle it. The storyteller can't handle it. So it shifts into different stories. Thinking, fixating on things that echo the deep neurological and psychological stories. So if you feel like you're not allowed to get what you want deep down, then it always see it focus on people that are taking away from you what you want. I should have this, I should have that, but this person did that. Or if you feel that you're not good enough, then it will keep manifesting in situations where you're not good enough, maybe your job um, doesn't reflect your skills. Maybe you never had ambition because of this feeling not good enough. And then your mind makes stories about it. It's because society is corrupt and I didn't have the opportunity because my parents screwed me up. Rather than just the vulnerability of what's being experienced now. And just allowing it to come and go in that beingness. But that beingness is the what's wiping everything clean, it's the freedom. And so it's always here.
who is it that's here? Who is it that's experiencing? <laughs> 